Welcome to Quarterback Film Room. My name is Brian Trulin. Uh, we're going to take an in-depth look at Georgia quarterback Jake Fromm, an early entry into the 2020 draft. Okay, A guy who really put up some solid numbers in his three years as a starter for the Bulldogs down at Athens. We're going to take a look at a 2018 contest against Georgia Tech. Um, you know, in their rivalry game, ACC, SEC, Jake Fromm, shades of, you know, a poor man's Drew Brees at times, throws with anticipation, okay, um, you know, in terms of his ceiling, that is a question mark, but, you know, you really have to dig into the film to appreciate what Fromm can do in terms of throwing the football from a nuanced standpoint. Right there, cover three, deep cornerback is, you know, sinking into the deep third of the field. Georgia schemes up, you know, an out and a go route and fits it over the undercover, over that strong safety with elite touch, timing, anticipation, feet, all those things. Jake Fromm, nuanced throw of the football. Okay. Now, this is a guy whose arm's a little bit stronger than perhaps he's given credit for right here. Three by one look deciphering the coverage immediately. He knows exactly where he needs to go with the football, no hesitation. He's taking that slot hitch. Here, cover zero. Beater inside the 10-yard line. Again, throwing with anticipation. Now, it's it's an easy throw, but the, the, the mechanics behind the throw, okay, very crisp NFL-like on that throw to uh, that Georgia receiver. So... Surprised a few people in terms of announcing his decision to come out. Okay, now from a family standpoint, from a stock standpoint, from all the other variables at Georgia in terms of offensive linemen coming back, receivers leaving, it was you know it was probably the right call. A very tough decision. Though Fromm really fretted over this decision hard, and it was a very you know hard decision for him to make. But he's entering a quarterback class that has a lot of other guys. Okay, so it's not like he's entering, you know, a draft like Mark Sanchez did back in 2009, which, you know, Matt Stafford, number one, and then after Stafford, it, it's an unknown. No, that's that's not the case. Will the team trade up in the first round and draft from? I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Okay, but I think he's more so a second-round guy. But again, needs can fluctuate here between now and draft day. So... <clears throat> you know, and I really like this kid's demeanor too. Reminds me of a young Philip Rivers from an off the field standpoint. Now he does throw with anticipation, sort of like Rivers did at North Carolina State. You know, way back in the day when Rivers was coming out. But you know, Fromm will throw the deep over with anticipation. Right there, he tries to fit a ball over that Mike linebacker, just a little bit too much zip on that football again here. Waiting, 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 beating the cover two zone from Georgia Tech here in the red zone. It's a post snap cover two look. He flashes his eyes a little bit, and then he, you know, I mean, again, those are the types of throws that really take a nuanced throw of the football. A guy who is a natural throw of the football and has a natural sense of timing and throws with just enough arc to fit balls over defenders. That's an excellent throw by Jake Fromm. Okay. And it's those types of throws that I think really translate well to the next level. Again, tight window throws over and around defenders. Fromm proved to do this, you know, throughout his career at Georgia. Again, we're taking a look at the 2018 game against Georgia Tech. Georgia's up 21-7 at this point. Here's a shot play from midfield. And again, he's, he's throwing an excellent deep ball, okay? This strong set or this free safety bites down on the route to the boundary, and then as soon as Fromm sees this, he's letting it rip with timing and accuracy and touch deep. So let's check this out again. Just a little bit of a stun up the a gap. He's throwing with it. He's throwing with anticipation again. His receivers beating this guy deep, but Fromm is letting it rip early. 55 yards down the field. I mean, that's elite arm strength. I mean, not elite arm strength, but that's above average arm strength. So, 
the high-end throws that you'll see from Fromm on tape really are high-end. Okay, they really are. And then his tape is also, I wouldn't say littered, but there is a decent amount of, you know, accuracy issues underneath, you know, maybe some issues, you know, underneath and towards the middle of the field at times. But by and large, this guy's a pretty crisp thrower of the football, okay? About as crisp as you're going to see in this class. Now, you can make the argument that two is crisper, okay? But Fromm is a guy, and I mean, again, I see elements of a poor man's Drew Brees. I mean, it's I mean, it's not that crazy to say that. I mean, you know, it really isn't. <clears throat> but, you know, I think a team is going to take him probably early to mid-second. But it could be sooner and it could be later. Maybe he slides to round three. But right here, another red zone opportunity for Fromm. And then again, this is, you know, an instance of Fromm going from one to two. They're not there. He's coming back. Brain tells him somebody's open. And then immediately, off-platform, flicking his wrist, hitting the guy. Okay, so. Nice job there. That's Calvin Ridley's brother, I believe. Or no, wait. That was Calvin. No, that was not Calvin Ridley. He was in the NFL. Sorry. It's Calvin Ridley's brother. There we go. In-depth look, Jake Fromm. Interesting guy to follow here. Combine's coming up here. Pro days in April. Stay tuned on Jake Fromm.